Hello YouTube and welcome to the 2022 edition of Every Axe in Lumber Tycoon 2. This video will include information about how to get every axe and whether it has special abilities or is complete rubbish. If any axes are added after July of 2022, they will not be featured in this video. However, I will have an updated list in the description of any new axes that aren't mentioned. Even though the gold axe is featured at the end of this video, which you guys should stay and watch until, it doesn't exist anymore in the game files. And before we do begin, I would suggest subscribing for more lumber content, but let's begin! First, we are going to go over the axes you can currently buy from stores or earn from doing quests. The first axe is the basic hatchet, which is the first axe you buy from the game. It is sold at Wooder for $12, and it's nothing special. Next is the plain axe, which is also sold at Wood or Us, and again, it's nothing special, but it is better than the basic hatchet. Next is the steel axe, which is also sold at Wood or Us, and again, it's nothing special, but it is better than the plain axe. And next up is the hardened axe, which is also sold at Wood or Us, and is nothing special. It is better than the steel axe, though. And finally is the Silver Axe, which you also can buy at Wood or Us and is the best axe you can buy from there. Moving on from Wood or Us is the Rookery Axe, which you must buy three items to actually get. You need to buy a bag of sand from Wood or Us, a light bulb from Fancy Furnishings, and a can of worms from Bob Shack for a total of $7,601. Once you have all three of those items, you want to head to the snow biome, find the secret hatch, and put the items on the plate so you can perform the ritual that will give you the Rookery Axe. This axe is a really good starter axe. It is better than all of the axes you can buy at Wood or Us, but it isn't the best axe in the game. If you repeat the steps to get the Rookery Axe, except on Halloween Day, you'll find yourself actually getting the End Times Axe. And the End Times Axe is the only axe in the game that can chop the End Times tree located under the bridge. As for chopping other trees, the Rookery Axe is still better. This axe also has a box labeled I cheated for this box because this was not available and was only in the game files until exploiters made it very common in the game. Now let's go over the axes that were once for sale during the alpha and beta stages of the game. Now these axes can only be purchased from other players. The Alpha Axe was only available during the Alpha stage of the game at Wood R Us. Even though it's no longer in stores, you can still purchase it from other players, and it is a surprisingly strong axe. Some say it might even be better than the Rookery Axe. The Beta Axe is not as strong as the Alpha Axe and can be compared to the Silver Axe. Even though it was only available during the Beta stage of the game and sold at Wood R Us, it is no longer available, but you can purchase it from other players. These next axes were all released as Christmas presents over the last few years, and can only be purchased from other players. The Fire Axe was available during the 2015 Christmas event in the Fiery Gift of Lumber sold in Wood R Us. It has a special ability for chopping lava wood with high damage, so if you're collecting lava wood, make sure to use this axe. As for chopping other trees, it does not really do that much damage. The Candy Cane Axe was available during the 2016 Christmas event, and it was sold in the Sweet Gift at Wood or Us. This axe was intentionally designed to be unable to chop any trees, making it the weakest axe in the game. The Chicken Axe was available during the 2017 Christmas event in the Gift of Great Times sold at Wood or Us. This is literally just an average axe, but it looks like a chicken. The Gingerbread Axe was sold during the 2018 Christmas event in the Gingerbread Gift at Wood or Us. It is an extremely small axe with a huge range. It also has the special ability to chop walnut and co-wood with higher damage. The Rusty Axe was sold in the 2019 Christmas event in the Old Gift of Oxidation at Wood or Us. This is just an average axe, but it does look pretty cool because it is rusty. The Cave Axe, which can be found in the Spooky Deep Earth Gift sold during the 2020 Christmas event at Wood or Us, has the special ability to chop cave crawler wood with really high damage. But make sure not to use this axe when chopping other trees because it is really weak. And finally is the Overgrown Axe, which was sold during the 2021 Christmas event at Wood or Us inside of the Murky Gift of Goo. This axe has the special ability to chop zombie and goldwood with exceptionally high damage. 
So if you're heading to the swamp, make sure to bring this axe. Up next are two axes that were released during the Beesmus event and can only be purchased from other players. Beesmus was an event hosted by Mabucket that involved completing quests across multiple games. The Bees Axe was a reward during the 2017 Beesmus event and it's just an average axe, though it does sometimes scream bees and it does have a bee particle effect. You can only purchase this from other players and it literally fell from the sky for those who completed the quest. The Many Axe, which is considered to be the most powerful axe for chopping any tree except the End Times Tree in Lumber Tycoon 2, was added during the 2018 Beesmus event. There is a maze added under fancy furnishings, which players had to go through to find the axe and then bring to the counter to purchase. This axe does high damage to any tree, again, not End Times, but it does have a large cooldown to counter that high damage. These next two axes were released during Halloween events in the game and can only be purchased from other players. The Amber Axe, which was available during the 2018 Halloween event at Bob Shack, is a slightly powerful axe. It does look pretty cool though because it does have a transparent axe head resembling amber. The Candy Corn Axe was released during the 2020 Halloween event and sold at Wood or Us. This is also just an average axe, but it does look pretty cool with a Candy Corn Axe head. And finally, here are two axes that didn't really fit anywhere in the video, so here they are. The Bird Axe was only available during 2019 in the cave behind Link's Logic. Players could convert a Silver Axe into a Bird Axe by talking to a bird in the cave. Uh, the players had to follow Defaultio on Twitter for this to work, however the cave is now blocked, but if you manage to glitch past the boulder blocking it, you will be able to see the bird. This axe does have the special ability to do higher damage to cave crawler wood and lava wood. It does do decent damage to other trees, but it isn't really that much compared to some of the better axes mentioned in the video. And finally is the gold axe, which was the most powerful axe in the game. Only Defaultio and one other tester had access to it when it existed in the game, but it was removed from game files because exploiters accessed it. I'll be making an updated version of this in about a year, assuming new axes continue to be added to the game. Again, I will have an updated list of every axe that is missing because that axe was added after this video was uploaded. So please don't go into the comment section and say, Bunny, this axe is missing. Yes, I know, and I can't change the video. If you read the description, Description, you can find more information about it. Make sure to subscribe and comment below any questions you have and I will try to get back to you. I do want to give a small shout out to the Lumber Tycoon 2 wiki, uh, which did have some of the information that was referenced in today's video. So thank you for watching, have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!